So, David, I want to ask, first of all, and ask, do you believe in God? Oh, do I believe in God? Well, yes and no. I think the God that um, uh, churches talk about um, is hard to believe. But I think there is something deeper than the God of the churches. Um, there's, a, there's a God in creation. There's a kind of a deep intelligence and a deep spiritual kind of undercurrent in nature and the world. And that's the kind of God I, I would believe in. But the idea of an uh, old man in the sky, uh, you know, interested in our toilet behavior and our uh, moral lives, I don't think, I think that's a construction of human imagination. And I think that God had to die so that the deeper God could be revealed. In terms of Australian society, you talk about a new form of spirituality and, and indeed around the world. Mm. First of all, globally, what, what is the need for spirituality? Well, I think spirituality is a human instinct. I think um, we are the only culture that has tried to live without it. Um, secularism is surprisingly recent. If you look at the long haul of 10, 20, 30 thousand years, it's only in the last couple of hundred that people have tried to live without a guiding principle or a transcendent idea. And um, I think our uh, adherence to secularism is looking rather frayed at the moment. I think uh, spirituality is a, a human instinct and um, it's only over the last couple of hundred years that people have tried to live without a sense of the spirit or of soul. And um, secularism seems to be fraying <coughs> at the moment and uh, people do need something deeper to believe in. I think it's not just a question of, of, of intellectual curiosity, it's actually it has an existential value, it has survival value, because I think uh, these, these deeper ideas are required in order for us to live properly. Why do you think it's happened that we've, we've lost that sense of belief? Um, or, or we're, and, and why are we looking for it again? Why do we need it and what have we lost? And why do you think it happened? We've, I think uh, the entire Western world lost belief probably toward the end of the 18th century. Um, the so-called Enlightenment, which uh, brought in reason and rationality, and everything had to be explained through reason. And that had a good run in the sciences, in education, in knowledge, and in all sorts of ways. But I suspect that uh, outside of those areas, uh, people have often had their private thoughts and feelings, but in many cases, that these were repressed so what we see today is, is, I think, a lifting of the repression on the need to believe. It's a very funny kind of world we live in where you actually repress your, your deepest values in order to fit in the secular society. And I think that's where we're coming out of that phase at the moment. And more and more people really, there's a lot of lost people at the moment, of course, because we don't know where to turn. Just as when the, the Berlin Wall fell down and the Eastern Bloc collapsed in, in Russia, everybody thought, well, we'd better run back to the churches. And for a couple of months, the churches were teeming with people, you know, after the collapse of communism. But now they've gone out of the, the churches again because they've realized that that's not really what they wanted. So I think we're just in search of something new. And I don't... I don't think I think the search will continue for quite some time, but at the moment everybody's trying to find out their own particular um, relationship to the big questions. I don't think there's any big movement. Even fundamentalism is, thank God, you know, for the minority of people, uh, in certainly in Australia and countries like Australia. The problem with fundamentalism is it's just far too certain. I think we have to learn to live uh, with the presence of mystery. You know, we, we need to accept that life is very and profoundly mysterious. And any kind of uh, system which, uh, which makes the big questions uh, cut and dried and simplistic uh, has to be rejected by thinking people. 
But in rejecting fundamentalism, we can't throw the baby out with the bathwater. We, we, we do need belief. And I think more and more Australians are in search of something to believe in.